Right, so I've got some mailbag items here, so let's uh, get into it. Now, I should also mention if you're not already subscribed, then uh, please do subscribe because I notice a lot of my videos are watched by non subscribers. Um, that's like people watch them, then don't subscribe or forget to subscribe and then go away and they come back. So, I don't know. Um, so, if, you know, if you're interested in what I do, see my electronics repair stuff or whatever, um, what little projects I'll get onto, or interested to see what I'm going to do in the future, um, remember to subscribe. Right, what have we got here? Who's in the roll? Oh yes, another option for my bench. Now this is um goes back to where I'm looking at rejigging all my bench supply and um, my lighting system and that sort of stuff. So this is a multiple outlet USB unit, obviously. Um, Getting out the packaging. So as I say, 100, 200 volt, 50, 60 hertz, up to 8 amps max, in theory. Um, well, let's plug it in and see what comes up on the display, see what it looks like. Won't take me a minute. I was basically looking at different options of things I could use. Um, this has also got other options I could, um, other uses I have for it too, so that's possible. Let's just see if I can get this to reach. Oops, might be a bit short. Um, okay, hold on a second. Let me figure this out. Get out there, turn the power on, turn it supply. Okay, here we go, booting up. 5.25 volts. Mm hmm. It shows counts for each one, that's interesting. Let's just have a look. Uh, let's get a tester like this one. What do I think? 5.19 volts, 5.25, oh, 5.2. I mean, it's pretty close, isn't it? Um, I feel the same. 5.19 as well, so that's the same voltage across all of them. So maybe this PS1. Big buck converter or something in there. Um, let's see. Let's put some loading on it with something. I don't actually have a USB load tester. That's something I've been meaning to buy, but I never quite got around to it. Um, I know. Let's plug in my light. Let's plug this in instead. This is one of the reasons I wanted to get this because of the usage of it. So that's on high there, I think. Okay, yes it is. Right, so 0.9 volts, uh, 0.9 amps, sorry. And this is one amp on the outlet. So yeah, it's close enough, isn't it? And uh, five watts, that's handy because your wattage reading and the voltage is still nice and high. Although on this one here it says it's dropped, this one says it's 4.7 volts, 4.8 volts, and dropping around a little bit. Let's just try a different outlet. Do the same thing again. Turn the light on. 4.8 volts there, 5.2 there, interesting. So although it says the voltage is still good, it is actually dropping. I guess it's a fluctuation there on that socket. Maybe it says the actual connections on the sockets. So now I'm wiggling it around a bit, it's coming up. There's a bit of oxidization on those sockets. That's not the 5 volts now. Maybe that's what it is, there's a bit of dirt on those connections. So uh, it is getting better as I'm wiggling it around. Let's try it again the first one. Of course it's only when it's under load is when it starts to drop. Yeah, I mean that seems right now. Need to give myself a little USB load tester. 
they're easy enough to get that seems fine I don't know. anyway so yeah I mean it's, it's okay now we'll, um, I'm sure I'll get used I'm, so what I'm mainly looking at is building a, um, a proper um, supply to run on my lighting here which also run USB supply um, but this is one of the options I had for doing that Alright, so let's discover a little interesting little thing. Okay, so that's still plugged in the power. I unplug it. There's the plug. See? No wire. Still on. It's got some massive storage caps in this thing. Still running the EDs. There we go. Wow, that's got some big caps in there. It's <laughs> pretty good. Alright. Let's move on to the next thing. As always, my um, there'll be links down in the description below for these items. Uh, okay, so this is a twelve volt to ten amp uh, DC power adapter. I needed this for some gear I've got running. Um, I'm not sure it's the right size plug. I could be wrong. Let's have a look. Hold on. See, this is the unit it, was, it would be replacing, right? It's this one here, which is blown up. It's 5 amp rated. And it lasted for a couple of years, and it's, then it's died. Um, so I thought, I'll go for something a bit bigger. Um, no, no same, same diameter. That's okay. Um, it just looked like 2.5 on 2.1. Anyway, never mind. Um, so, yeah. It's, we'll see how this goes. Um, 10 amps is... Hmm... No, it doesn't feel much heavier than the other one I was replacing, but uh, I don't know, it may not be really an issue. But um, it's a shame these things are always welded shut because you can't, you know, op open them up and have it all look inside very easily. Um, yeah, no. Don't know, don't know if you trust any of this stuff, really, do you? Anyway, so again, I'll have a link for this online. I don't know where I got this one now. Probably AliExpress. It could, it could have been bang good, but it could be AliExpress. Uh, let's check that one out. So slightly squashed box and beautiful nail lamp. Yeah. Okay. This isn't for me. I should not see. As you can see, my nails are not paint polished or painted or anything. This is for my wife. Um, wants to do files. Okay. Um, so the idea of this is that it's a UV lamp in here and you use that for curing nail polish. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to come out. Maybe. That's interesting. It's got like a foam inside there. Is it supposed to come out I wonder? A little bit odd. I was just basically pushing further. Let's push it in further. There we go. That seems like it makes more sense. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so the idea with this has got some three UV lamps in there and bust again and dry your nails, apparently. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> let's plug it in. Oh, let's get one of those bloody plugs on it. Um, Nowhere does it say what a voltage it is supposed to be. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Um, let's look on the box. I believe it's supposed to be 240 volt. Um, yeah, well, it's got markings, but they're not ticked. All there. Um, okay. Nowhere does it say which voltage range this one is set for. This could be interesting. This might go bang. Let's do it. All right. Uh, death adapter. Run death adapter. Right. 
plug it in. Let's turn her on. Sorry, hasn't gone bang. Um, anyway, there's the UV light. And it's got this. Interestingly, there's this second function, which I don't know. That's on. on. That only comes on when you push that button. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Anyway. So I guess that's. I've only got two functions. It's interesting. But I'm just amazed it doesn't have any voltage ratings marked on the outside. No sticker. No specs. I mean, this is so, so dodgy. Um, and that, that comes out. Just think of all the things you could do with this. Might be able to do circuit boards with it. Hmm? That could be possible for using circuit boards. Etching PCBs. I'm not sure how um, safe this is. <laughs> um, since there's no specs, there's no information about the unit. Um, it's a fairly soft plastic actually. It looks like it's actually very warped as well. I'm not sure it's supposed to be that shape anyway. Um, pretty sure it's supposed to be flat. Fairly sure, anyway. So, there's that. It probably won't kill my wife. Probably won't. Hopefully not. Okay, um, that's the mailbag. So, well, it's for this time. Catch you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Push that button down over there. And don't forget to push the bell icon as well to get notifications. Right, so my mailbag items. Now, I've got an idea of what both of these are, and I believe these are both review items. So, I'm going to open these up and go through the detail on each one. And, um, then I'll be doing a review video a bit later on on each item to in a lot more detail and go through things. So let's get started with the black one first. Another diff, diff adapter. Always coming handy. Um, wow, well, took a while to get that out. Okay, so as you can see, this is a Banggood item. All right, another thing sent to me for free from Banggood. Um, actually, I'll just get a different one because that's a bit half covered up. There you go. All right, so um, Banggood have been really good and, and they uh, are still sending me items to review, which is brilliant. This is what I thought uh, some people might be interested in. Tweezers holding on. Okay, so again, so free, free at Banggood, no cost to me. Um, so I'll obviously be sticking a disclaimer probably down there somewhere about the um, paid advertisement with his, the, the YouTube specification. So someone did complain about that once, saying I, you know, it's a, it's a legal requirement. But I did actually mention it in a video, saying that I got it for free from Banggood. Um, for purpose of review, but uh, anyway, I think I just must have missed that part of the video. So, uh, not a big deal. So, instructions are in Chinese at the front and English at the back. So, that's good. Um, told you how to pull the thing apart. So, replacing the heating elements. Interesting. Don't normally get a kind of detail, do you? Um, so this, let's get this thing out and have a look. There's a little protective cap that goes on there. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not exactly a positive fit. I don't know. Oh, there we go. This kind of hooks in there. You have to kind of get it in the right. But yeah, so this is just a tweezer iron. Now. So the idea this is it can use this for doing SMD stuff. So you get to both sides of a resistor or capacitor or whatever you're doing, which is SMD. You know, a two-legged component effectively, and um, tweeze both sides. That's the theory. We shall see how that goes. Um, so it's got an adjustable thing here as well for that. So 
So we'll get back into a proper view um, later on. I'll do a proper view on it. Interesting little handpiece there. You can set the temperature stuff on it. So this will be coming up shortly in a proper view. So make sure you subscribe to catch that. Um, and the next thing is this. Let's see what we got. Well, I think I know what I've got, but um, I was actually requested to the right item. I believe it will be. So this is an IP camera, so yes, it's exactly what I was expecting it to be. Um, I was contacted by a Amazon seller um, asking if I was interested in reviewing their products. Um, and also obviously to help them get some sales. So um, they've sent me a IP camera to look at. Um, hopefully all the details are here. I did ask them to send details, so this is their company here. Um, I'll be putting links in down below and I'll go into the Amazon channel and um, and their Facebook page I believe as well. Um, so I'll, I'll add those links and I'll obviously be doing a full on review on this thing. Um, as much detail as I can. So a weatherproof boot there for the Ethernet cable, mounting template, mounting screws. And there's the camera. So it's got protection over the glass. Is it glass? That's no, plastic, but it's okay. Um, probably better actually, this vandal proof. But, um, yep, yeah, so it's kind of waterproof, but you need to make sure it's got a gasket apparently. So, very interesting. So I'm not quite sure exactly what this does yet. But based on all this, um, it does quite a bit. <laughs> so, um, so it's got alarm output, alarm input, audio in, audio out. So it's got a pass through there. Um, audio in right as well. So it must be. Where's the other one gone? Audio in left, audio in right. Okay. And DC and also Ethernet. So has a lot of functionality on this thing so it's going to be interesting um, so yeah I'll be doing a full on review on this thing and uh, watch out for that too coming up very shortly um, so don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in IP cameras and see that stuff too so I'll get the shelf back in here right that's it for the mail bag for now and um, I think I'll probably wrap up that video actually. So watch out for these videos coming up for these review items. And um, so I will include um, details in, in the below there about these two review items here. And also when I did review videos, there'll be some more detail on those. So thank you for Banggood for sending that and for uh, the name escapes me right now. The company that sent me this. <laughs> It'll be in the description. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and yeah, so we'll, we'll carry on. Here's a close-up for that card for the uh, IP camera. So uh, if you're interested in one of these, you need to go here. There's also Amazon links as well, so we'll get onto that.